Hi, I'm Robert Joseph, and today I'm going to talk to you about needles, the needles you use in your sewing machine. So this is part of the uh, playlist uh, for the sewing machine Brother LX3817. Um, so it's part of that uh, whole playlist. We're getting to know this machine. And um, in this next section, I'm going to talk to you about the different brands of needles and what I use, because I kind of reference some of those um, during my later videos. So um, I just kind of wanted to intro this video before um, my intro to this video, because I actually use the needles that come with this machine. And so I unpackage those and I talk a little bit about the areas of the needle that you will need to know. But before I get into that, I just kind of want to do a close up and show you the brand of, of sewing machine needles that you might encounter at the fabric store. Okay, so I have some uh, needles here in their packaging. Um, and uh, Singer actually um, is a well-known brand and they come in packages like this. These are just what I've encountered recently and what I actually have in my stash. And so either they'll come on cards that are like this um, with, with some basic information on the back or they'll come in cards uh, with cases like this, which I believe uh, you just slide this case down um, and push this back to get the needle out. Um, and on the back here for these ones, you just kind of punch the, the back here. I've kind of creased it here and broken it. Um, and you push the needle out through the front. Now, um, the Singer needles, I have a color coding, um, on this, and these are really big, uh, needles. This is a size 16. So I'd use that on denim or heavy twill. Um, while this is, uh, 80 over 11 and just an, a quick, uh, just a quick little lesson, the uh, like a, the 100 and the 80 is your European sizing system and the regular smaller numbers are the American sizing system. Um, if you want to learn more about needles, then you can check out my Apparel Arts Academy level zero playlist there's a i'd go into uh in depth about what these numbers are um if you're interested in that so and then the ones that are in this box or, box are the ones that i actually prefer and they are the schmetz brand needles and they come in cases like this and i guess i've used this one i should keep it out i buy these in bulk so that's why i have this big box um, and they open up the same way you slide the case down and then you peel you push the back out to actually remove the needle. And again, this is, um, you will see here, um, 80, let's see if I can, 80, 12. It's hard to see if I push this down, maybe you can see that a little bit better um, on the bottom here. Let me see it. the bottom here. And then up here is 130, uh, slash 705 H and that's just class of another classification so again the 80 is a European system of sizing and the 12 is the American now if you notice on the Y on the singer one it said 80 11 there's really not much difference between the 11 and the 12 except for um, that the 11 is really for more of a regular woven, lighter weight woven fabric, not your super lightweight, but it's, if it's a regular plain weave, like your quilter cotton is a plain weave, um, if it's a little bit lighter, you might want to use um, an 11, whereas a 12 has just slightly larger um, of a needle. But pretty much I use, for most of my medium weights, I use an 80 slash 12. Um, so, um, and I just kind of wanted to give you that overview of what the packaging looks like that you're looking for. Um, if you go into the fabric store or any other store wherever you buy um, needles um, or your sewing supplies, this is what um, most likely the packaging is going to look like. There are other brands um, named Organ, um, which I think these are the, the needles that actually came in the little kit with the sewing machine, the Brother LX3817. Um, I think I showed you these briefly. And um, when I open this up, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these out um, in the next video. Um, and it says Organ here, that's also another brand. Although Organ is general, I haven't really seen a lot of the organs in fabric stores and other stores to purchase. Um, I do know that um, they do a, a larger business in the industrial uh, machine section. So that's where I've um, encountered the organ brand. Okay, so um, in the next video, I'm actually going to open these up and talk a little bit more about um, the areas of the needle that you need to be aware of. Okay, so we have the needles. I'm just gonna take this out of the uh, package really quickly. 
Um, and they I think they're in a piece of tin foil. Yeah. Uh, okay. And there should be three in here. They're a picture of three. And they're just loose in here. So be careful that you don't spill them. So they look like this. I'm just going to take one of these out, set the others aside. And let me see. Can I see that? Okay. So this is your needle. And um, there are a couple areas that you need to know about. So first of all, this is sharp. And it, it's, you know, you can um, prick yourself with it. So if you look at this, you kind of twirl it around a little bit. You will notice that one side has this flat edge side here. And then the other side is round. And if you, let me see if I can get this to focus. You can kind of see, whoops, that there is some, I think I might be too close to the uh, camera. Okay, so anyway, there is some writing. You can kind of see a little bit of it right here. So it's too small um, to actually read. It's hard for me um, to read, but that actually has the size of the needle and um, everything. So, um, which you will also have on the outside of the packages that you buy. So on this, there's no size here. I'm assuming that these are size 12. So when you go to buy sewing machine needles, um, the size you will see 80 slash 12, and that's for a medium weight cotton. Um, and the 80 is the European uh, numbering system and 12 is the US numbering system. Okay, so um, also if we turn it back to this flat side, this side is important because this side is gonna go toward the back of the machine. You won't be able to actually fit this in properly. So the home machine manufacturers have done you uh, a bit of a service um, because you can't actually put this in the opposite way. Okay, so this flat backside will be toward to go toward the back of the machine. Um, but if you go down the back of it, you can feel here and you will feel a little bit of a notch and I don't know if I, if I can turn this a little bit so you can see there's a little cut out on the back of this here. That's called the scarf and that's actually where your um, machine on the inside picks up the thread to lock in the stitch. So um, this, you don't really need to know that much um, to learn to sew, um, but um, that's how actually, that's where the part of the bobbin catches the top thread to lock it in. So then you have the hole here, which you can kind of see. Uh, if I twirl that around a little bit, um, that is where we put the thread, okay? So all of this is going to go toward the back. The round part is going to go toward you. Um, again, on this front part, on the rounded part side, if you take your fingernail along the needle on the front, there is a shaft and you can actually, it's a groove. You can put your fingernail and feel it that actually guides the thread from the top of the machine down into the hole or the eye of the needle. Um, and so you just need to know a little bit about the needle um, before we get going to actually um, put the needle, uh, place the needle into the machine, okay? So um, this long groove helps guide the thread down into the eye of the needle, and that's what this hole down here is called, okay? So again, um, your needle has on the top part, this top part is called the shank, and on the back of it is a flat part, and that is gonna go toward the back of the machine, okay? So that's all I'm gonna talk about um, for the needle for right now. If you wanna get into needle sizing and everything um, that goes along with needles, I have a much more in-depth video. If you go into the Apparel Arts Academy playlist, and you look in level zero, there should be a needles, I think it's needles and thread um, uh, video that goes much more into depth about what these numbers are and that numbering system and the different needles you should use for different types of fabrics, okay? So this is just a little bit about the needle and now I'm gonna hopefully get close-ups on showing you how to install this needle into the machine. 
Okay, so um, I'm actually holding the camera right now. That's why it seems a little bit shaky and I apologize for that. But I want you to see under here um, where the needle is going to go and I'm gonna grab my little pointer here. So the needle is gonna go right up into here and you see this part here. Um, I'm sorry that it's not, my uh, pointer is not focusing, but this shaft up here, you will actually see the uh, shaft of the needle come up, um, probably about right to here. It's gonna go to this little circle thing right here. But let me see if I can, I don't think I can show you um, underneath, if I can get that. There's a hole right up in here that you will slide the needle up into. This here is the screw that you're going to loosen, and um, I can loosen it with my fingers, uh, but if it's too tight, of course, then, whoops, then you have this screwdriver here to put in here to loosen um, and tighten, and actually tighten it, because we will be tightening it, okay? If you have lost this, this tool here, then you can use a penny or a quarter. So before I actually start uh, to put the needle in, I'm actually going to lower the presser foot because I don't, this is the presser foot and it's, it comes with this presser foot in. Now your machine also may come with the needle all, already in, um, but if you need to replace it, you're gonna do the same thing that I'm going to do. So I'm gonna lower this and right up here, this piece right here, that's how we raise and lower the foot. So if I'm gonna come behind here. So if I put that down, whoops, it goes down to here. And if I push it up, it um, raises and lowers the foot. Let me pull out a little bit. You see it, see it here. If I put it down, it lowers the presser foot. And then I put this up and it raises the presser foot. All right, so I'm gonna lower that because I want to put the needle in and I'm gonna have to uh, put the camera back onto the uh, tripod and see if I can get close enough um, so that you can see me inserting the needle, which is right here. And again, I'm going to see, this is the back of the needle. I'm gonna turn it all the way around and then I will insert it up here. And of course, it's totally closed because I didn't, I did not unscrew um, the screw here, um, so I can't actually put it in while I'm holding this. So I'm going to put the camera onto the tripod and see if I can get close enough so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so here we go to actually try to install um, this needle. So shooting um, sewing videos and doing things like this can be kind of challenging because I you can't believe like I have the camera like right here in my face and I have lights around and I'm trying not to get the shadow and hit something. Um, so again, what I'm going to do, let me grab it with my other hand here. And um, if it's tight, if this screw here is tight, then just go ahead and use this tool and unscrew it a little bit. Don't take it all the way out. If it comes out all the way, and it drops, just be careful that you don't lose it because you will not be able to sew um, unless you have this screw. You have to order one from Brother um, to replace that screw. So don't take it out. It only needs to come out maybe a couple of turns. Um, and then again, this, I have the flat part of the needle. Let me just make sure my fingers aren't in the way. The flat part of the needle, I'm gonna turn that around and if you need to, I kind of keep my finger in the back part here where I know it's flat. And then you may need to just put the needle down in this hole a little bit to get up into, and you'll be able to feel it. If it's not going up and it's not going up, that means I haven't unscrewed this enough. So if I unscrew it, then you see it just a little bit. There's enough for me to get that needle all the way up there. Now, if you take your fingers and try to twist that needle, you will see that it will not, once it's in that shaft, it won't turn because the back is flat, okay? So if you have an industrial sewing machine, um, they don't help you out like that. So again, um, it will only go up so far. Remember that little circle piece that I showed you, it will only go up to that point. So you're gonna push it up as far as it will go. And I'm just gonna finger tighten this a little bit. 
okay? And then I'll come back in and I'll just tighten this just a little. Don't get it too tight because you don't want to accidentally strip that because this screw can be kind of expensive. Okay, so now my needle should be in and it should be in the center of my sewing. Okay, and I'm using the hand wheel on the side that I showed you earlier. So I'm going to take, okay, so I've taken the camera off the tripod again. Sorry for the jumpiness, but I just want to show you. I'm using the hand wheel and I'm putting the needle down and the needle, it's hard to tell, but see where, let me see if I can get this to focus a little bit kind of um, okay I'm gonna bring my pointer in here there's a little notch here on my foot and the needle should be lined up with that notch okay as long as you are in one of the six seven eight nine or ten um, stitching numbers you should be fine all right let me get that to focus I'll bring that back up so the needle moves again if I move I bring up the uh, press her foot with this lever okay so we have just installed that needle and if you got this far congratulations so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to wind a bobbin